Hi, I'm Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to change your oil in the Lexus IS250 all wheel drive. This model we're working on is 2007, but it works from 2006 to all the way to 2011. So, first thing what we need is ramps. Uh, these are uh, Rhino ramps that you can get in your local AutoZone or uh, uh, Auto Parts store for about $35 to $55, depends which ones you get. Next, we will need a uh, uh, 5W30 synthetic oil. This is extended performance, for, rated for 15,000 miles, but uh, just watch out that even though the oil is rated for 15,000 miles, the filter itself isn't. Uh, next step, we have our OEM Toyota uh, air fil uh, oil filter. So it comes with this little gadget for draining the oil from the filter itself, the gaskets, and the filter itself. So the OEM you can get on eBay or even Amazon fairly for about six to seven dollars. So it's really not expensive whatsoever. Uh, you need a draining pan, of course, uh, tools, especially the socket wrench. So let's get started. Next, we need that 11 millimeter wrench socket. Uh, it's getting fairly loose. We want to screw this uh, screw right here and a flat screwdriver to pull out the pin on the right side. Once we do that, get that out. The filter. I can actually take that up and open up complete, completely. And this is where our filter is, right here. So we're gonna need a wrench again to pop that. This is where we can drain our uh, oil from the filter itself. A 14 millimeter wrench. And we're gonna unscrew this screw right here. I mean to use that some force Next, we're gonna unscrew the oil pan, which is the first one. The bucket underneath. And we're gonna let the oil drain for a couple minutes until it's fully drained. Just make sure you don't tighten it too much. Just enough. Next, we wanna unscrew the oil filter with that Toyota wrench. Okay. So now we're gonna slowly unscrew that filter. You may get some oil leaking from it as well. So just make sure you have something underneath to catch the oil. Most of it should be, should have been drained through the plug, but there's may, um, maybe some that it hasn't. So just be careful. We take out the filter. One light on it, so it drains. You want to pop out the filter 
from socket and all you have is the cup next thing we're gonna wipe it down and replace the rings once we have the filter off cup uh, what we want to do is replace the gasket on it so using a screwdriver just pop it off it comes right off grab the new one clean that stuff up The new, new gasket just goes right on it. The new one you probably want to lubricate a little bit. I'm gonna lubricate the O-ring. Pop it right on. Pop the new filter cartridge. Close it neither way. Put it back in. Tighten the hand tight. That's it. That's it. Okay, once we have the filter in place, we're gonna put the hatch back up. Put a screw in. And put in the clip in as well this part is a little difficult because you gotta actually find the hole pop it in and you're all set you just want to take a screwdriver and pop and screw in the hole uh, the screw a little further I did it by hand because I know this is pretty much as far as it goes and you're all set this is the power. Now we're gonna fill in the oil. We're gonna add in the oil. We need 6.8 quarts because we actually emptied the oil filter. So our five quart jug and then and a little more. So first we're gonna put a five quart jug. Look for the oil coming out from the bottom. <laughs> if, the oil, if the oil is coming out from the bottom, that means you, that means you missed something. something. <laughs> Double check that the oil is not leaking on the bottom. If not, it should be good to continue. Add the quart. We're going to use the same bottle so we can measure the 0.8 quarts of oil. Once this is done, we're gonna add 8.8 quarts into the small bottles for measurements. We got almost 0.8 quarts, some around there. We're gonna add that. Next step is to take the car on a flat surface, make sure it's even, start it up, run it for, for about three minutes and top it off if necessary all right so next step we wanted to grab the dipstick wipe it down with a clean cloth the engine is not supposed to be running for this part put it back in and we pull it out what we're looking for here is there's two small dots right here and second one here what we want to do is make sure that it uh, the oil is not inside the second one yet but it's inside the first one so right now it looking like looks like we're perfect with our oil level as you can see it's right before right before the dot if you see that the second dot full there's the oil inside that means you had you have too little uh, too much oil and need to drain a little if it's if your first dot is full means you have enough oil and anywhere in between the, those two dots is good so our level is just shy of the second dot so we're perfectly with our 8.6.8 quarts 
once you're done with that you can put your dipstick in and you're all set with your oil change hope this video helped please stay tuned to my other videos subscribe like and then so on to replace the oil filter the last thing we want to do is uh, reset the oil um, indicator so what you want to do is uh, press start once so that way you can hear the beeping but the lights are still not on next we want to hold the trip button press it and hold it while holding it press the start button once more so I'm gonna hold it I'm gonna press the start you see those four dots they're gonna slowly disappear once they all do you're all done next thing if you have GPS system we want to go to our menu or actually info I bet click on maintenance And we're gonna set our distance at 9,000 miles. Nine thousand. So this will remind us as well when the when it's time to do it all change again. Press OK. Go to oil filter. Uh, um, oil filter. Let's do the same thing. Let's click on put in 9,000 as well. And should be all set. Go back to our menu.